which shoes do I wear? <laughs> you guys be good, okay? I'll take you on a walk once I'm back. So it's actually starting to feel like fall. I have just wanted this for so long. Like I am in a hoodie. This is great. All my fashion girls, y'all get me. We just love fall so much. You can basically wear whatever you want. Outfits that don't make sense, like trench coats with flip flops. You can do that in the fall. Anyway, we are off to class. Today I'm taking train, which is a high intensity cardio class. This class is basically set up with stations, the rower, bike, ski. The goal is to get through as many rounds as possible and it's a tough one. Oh, who knew you were romantic? Stop acting like you're nice. Truvani. I'll have a link for this down below. It is my favorite protein. There's 20 grams of protein per scoop. Hi everyone, today's video is sponsored by Love Bonito and I am so excited to share some fall looks from their latest collection. It's probably my favorite collection yet. Love Bonito's brand message is ready to live, not just ready to wear. I absolutely love their clothes. It's not only beautiful, but really functional in design. They do really clever features that just kind of make your life easier, whether it's using fabrication that's crease friendly or machine washable, adding pockets and dress is, like things that we would just want, they do a really good job at. So today I'm gonna style three different fall looks that I think you guys are really going to love and just walk through some of my favorite features. So let's get into it. For the first look, I'm wearing this cotton tube top. It comes with the tie so you can cinch it at the waist. Now this blazer is so special because of the ruched ready design, which features these sleeves that have built-in elastic so you can effortlessly roll your sleeves up for a more relaxed, casual vibe. And honestly, this is just so genius that they thought of this. And I paired the blazer with a very casual straight leg jean. It has a medium wash, a slight puddle at the bottom, and that's it for look one. Moving on to look two, this has to be my favorite look because it just really speaks to me. It's giving the row minimal vibes. And honestly, these pants are incredible. They are the leggy Chloe wide leg pants. It has a high waist and I'm just obsessed with how it really elongates the legs. It's so chic. I'm honestly such a sucker for pants like these because it's just so easy to dress up with a blazer or a button up, but also dress down with an easy tee or a cardigan. And I just paired it with this asymmetric drapey blouse that I absolutely love. It's so flattering and elegant. I paired it with my mesh flats and some silver statement jewelry pieces to bring everything together. For the final look, I wanted to style an outfit that's just perfect for this transitional period as we leave summer and enter fall. This is really my favorite time of the year for fashion. These shorts I'm wearing are the classic tailored shorts. They're so comfy but still gives me that polished look I'm going for. For my top I have on this knit cardigan that is so cozy. It's a medium to heavier weight fabric so it feels really luxe and I just threw on this gray scarf that I've had for years and paired it with these loafers and this is the final look. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. I know they were all so different. Honestly this collection was just right up my alley so I think you guys are gonna love it. If you're interested in any of the looks I will leave the links down below or feel free to scan the QR code on the screen. I obviously have a code for you guys. To get 10% off your order of two or more pieces, use my code LBXSOFIA. <sighs> oh my goodness. Stop 
got back from the grocery store. Really quick, I just want to talk about my bone broth obsession because I feel like this has been such a lifesaver for me. If you guys remember a few months ago, I talked about removing dairy and eggs from my diet because of my skin. So with that, I realized my protein intake was a lot less because most of my protein came from eggs, Greek yogurt. And so I was trying to figure out creative ways to get more protein in the morning and bone broth, you guys. I like to have one cup of bone broth, which is packed with protein and nutrients. It really helps to line your gut. Just making that switch has made a world of a difference. I did talk about this briefly on my Instagram. The amount of DMs I got asking me how I prepare this, and I think like people overcomplicate it and it really is so simple. Like I literally just pour it into a cup, pop it into the microwave for about a minute. A sprinkle of Celtic salt, and that's it. <laughs> it's so simple. You know, if you have the time, you can pour a cup into a saucepan and boil it on the stove but for me microwave is fine and it's efficient that's what i've been doing for a while now and i absolutely love it my favorite brand is kettle and fire if you are dairy free like me um, and you want to get some more protein a cup of bone broth a day will really do the trick and again it's so great for your gut lining so try it out let me know what you think i'll link this down below forgot to add garlic. I don't know how I forgot that. I feel like garlic makes a world of a difference. Oh well, life moves on. Okay. Gotta cut against the grain. It's a thick piece of steak. I hope it's cooked all the way. Ooh. Okay, this looks promising. I'm not the best steak. Um, is that not perfect? Wow. Wow. Turn my kiss me that. My God, this looks so good. Mm-hmm. The rosemary really came through. Still really tasty without the garlic. Haven't made a steak in forever. Mmm. Good morning. Or good afternoon. It's 12.30. What am I talking about? It's been a good day so far. I am loving this weather. It's 72 degrees out. It's perfect. I have on this vintage utility jacket indigo denim jeans and some brown boots i'm feeling the fall vibes y'all i just made it to beverly hills today we're celebrating jen's birthday jen if you're watching happy birthday i love you can't wait to celebrate you I'm wearing my Omnilux clear mask. This one in particular is really good for acne prone skin. I don't do this every night, but definitely try to get at least three sessions in a week and I feel like it has helped a lot. My skin has been through a journey and we are still on that journey there are some days where i see the light at the end of the tunnel and then by the next week i'm like nope just kidding you know i've just really taught myself to not fixate on it because the moment i do that i could really start to spiral it just sucks all the energy out of me thinking about my skin being negative seeing nothing positive about myself it's just like such a waste of time i tell myself there are good days and bad days and when the bad days come i just kind of allow myself to have a moment but not dwell on it for too long but anyways i just thought i'd share i am going to relax now and i will see you guys tomorrow
Good morning. Slept here at Sean's house last night with the dogs. I brought like minimal stuff, my makeup bag and one pair of underwear. So I slept in his clothes and now I'm in his hoodie. But we're gonna walk to grab some coffee, take the dogs out and then we'll be back. We're so excited to see the world. And I look at my window to see what the universe has in store for me. People passing by in the street will be smiling at me because they already know what is alive been in love. The sky starts to roll up its clouds So the sun can just stop hiding out The windows will open and sing At first it was better